American singer, dancer, actor, author, and TV host Lance Bass made a whole bunch of teenage hearts throb during the late 90s and early 2000s as one part of the extremely popular boy band NSYNC. And he was my personal favorite. But did you know that if it wasn't for the other members of the group, Lance might not be as famous as he is right now? When NSYNC was offered its first recording contract, it was contingent on the others cutting Lance from the group because back then, his dance skills weren't up to par. But the group refused to do the deal and Lance worked his behind off to improve his groove. I think you know what happened next. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Over a decade later, Lance would begin dating painter and actor Michael Turnchin. The two got engaged in September 2013 and were married in December 2014 in a ceremony that was broadcast on E! in which the two became the first same-sex couple to exchange vows on cable TV. Only a few months prior, the happy couple had bought a house together in the city of Los Angeles and Lance would dedicate himself just as hard to improving their new family home as he once did his dance steps with with a taste for both old and new. He explained his decorating to Architectural Digest, telling them, I'm pretty modern, but I'm also from the South and grew up around the New Orleans area. So my ideal place would be to take one of those antebellum houses and make it very modern on the inside. I just think it's so cool. That juxtaposition of old and new all within a house. While Lance's family home might not be exactly as old as all of that, the interior is exactly how he wants it. Let's start with the foyer. Here there's a rustic sideboard with bright yellow lamps, which complements a work of art as a perfect example of this alchemy of old and new. Then there's the living room, which is where Lance and his hubby like to partake in game night while hanging out with their friends. For the most part, this room is naturally lit and includes a bar area, billiards table, and a fireplace. Meanwhile, the decor is full of personal flair like the couple's coffee table, book collection, and artwork, some of which has been created by Michael himself after being inspired by their travels together. There's also an eye-catching glass table set in the middle of the space, which is the first piece of furniture that Lance and Michael ever bought together. Bottom of this one-of-a-kind piece is actually a 500-pound boat propeller from an old ship that used to dock in New York City. On top of that table are a few personal touches, including a gold Impala head that Lance and Michael found together at Home Goods that reminded them of their journey to sell South Africa on safari. There's also a crystal vase on display here that was a wedding gift from Kris Jenner that Lance believes is just too beautiful to not display. As much as they enjoy that room, the kitchen is Lance's favorite spot in the house. An avid cook, he made sure to equip his chef space with stainless steel appliances, matte wood floors, and white subway tiles to create an inviting, bright room that's perfect for inspiring creativity. Once they're finished enjoying their meal, Lance and anyone else who feels up to it can head up onto the lounge area, where a pale and pink blue color scheme coupled with a whole bunch of natural light from floor to ceiling glass windows gives this space a cozy and vibrant feel made for unwinding. Of course, if anyone needs a pit stop first, you can hit pause and check out the main floor bathroom where Lance has utilized one of his MTV Video Music Awards in a revolutionary fashion as a toilet paper holder. After living in this home for close to a decade, together, Lance and Michael decided to take things to the next level when they announced in June of 2021 that they were expecting twins via a surrogate delivery. Well, you know what that means. Time to get the baby nursery ready. In the lead up to welcoming their new kids, Violet and Alexander, Lance and Michael turned to interior designer Max Humphrey to help them put together the nursery of their dreams. Without a massive room to work with, both fathers were concerned with functionality more 
than anything else. And to kick off the process, they showed Humphrey a series of images of rooms that they liked. Taking those ideas into consideration, Humphrey combined hues and textures to create a calming gender neutral space. The main inspiration for their room came from a jean jacket wallpaper print that Humphrey designed himself. He explained to House and Beautiful, Lance and Michael liked this one because it's funky and has both pink and blue in it. The remaining walls were painted in a special hue of gray that was purposefully chosen to complement the print. Elsewhere in the room, you can spot a changing table, baby monitor cameras, rocking chairs, and specially designed oval cribs. Outside of those essentials, Humphrey worked closely with the San Francisco based retailer Bye Bye Baby to handpick a slew of other additions, such as a sheepskin rug, diaper pail, elephant hamper, and fitted sheets. According to Michael, the entire process was so thorough that it lasted right on up until after the twins were born. Thankfully, it wasn't too much longer afterwards that they were able to move the kids right in and everything fell into place. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for another part of Lance Bass's life. You see, a few years ago, Lance became obsessed with the idea of buying his dream home, an abode that once appeared on his favorite TV series, The Brady Bunch. But the entire process would turn into something more closely resembling a nightmare. Back in summer 2018, Lance Bass took to Twitter with some extremely exciting news. His offer to buy The Brady Bunch house had been accepted. This high profile home, which was used to shoot the opening and closing scenes of the world's famous sitcom for five seasons went on the market in July of that year for $1.88 million. Way back when in the late 60s, this home was selected by show creator Sherwood Schwartz because of its approachable aesthetic. He explained to the Los Angeles Times in 1994, we didn't want it to be too affluent, we didn't want it to be too blue collar. We wanted it to look like it would fit a place an architect would live. During that same interview, he'd revealed that designers in the series added a fake window to the top of the house to give the illusion of a full second floor that only existed in the interiors that were built on a sound stage where the majority of the series was actually shot. All of this is to say that it was Lance's dream to buy the actual house and then remodel it to replicate the interior sets. It would have been a very complicated and costly endeavor, but it was one Lance was more than willing to undertake as he explained to people. I would have added a second floor floor and really blown out the back, but I wanted to get it as close as possible to what we all grew up with and loved, because I think I was going to turn it into an event space. I wanted people to come in and relive the Brady days. Well, in case you can't tell from all that past tense, things didn't go exactly as planned. Only hours after tweeting that his bid had been accepted, Lance had to send out another tweet that revealed he had actually been outbid at the last second. And by the last second, I mean more like after the fact. Bye, bye, bye to Lance Bass's dream of buying the Brady Bunch house. Turns out the agent representing the estate had informed Lance that his offer had been accepted after the final deadline has passed. But the next day, that same agent got in touch with Lance to tell him that another corporate buyer had entered the fray who wanted the home at any cost. Lance offered to pay even more, but the agent assured him that this new buyer would outperform any other bid, so he let it go. Afterwards, Lance felt as if he had been used by the agency to drive up the price of the home, knowing full well that this corporation always intended on placing the winning bid. More than just disappointed by the outcome, Lance was worried that whoever bought the property would wind up demolishing it. But sometimes things have a way of working out, and this is one of those times. Over the next few weeks and months, it became clear that the corporate entity that had purchased the home was none other than HGTV, who recognizing that they more or less screwed Lance over in a very public way, offered him the opportunity to come and visit the house when they were finished redesigning it. I almost got this house, but I'm super excited almost. HGTV got it because I know it's in good hands. Much to Lance's surprise, HGTV did exactly as he imagined and rebuilt the home to make it look like it did on the TV show. Sure, Lance might have been a upset about not getting a chance to do it himself, but after seeing what HGTV had done with the home, he became convinced that they were the right people to take on the job. Oh my gosh, it looks so different now. 
This is what I wanted to do with it. This is perfect. In fact, Lance was so pleased with how everything turned out that he agreed to host a very Brady renovation, an HGTV series that detailed the renovation and boasted cameos from the former child stars of the Brady Bunch. So things might not have gone exactly how he would have hoped, but at the end of the day, all's well that ends well. And now Lance gets to see his dream home brought to life without ever having to worry about the expense. Maybe someday Lance and Michael will update their family home to reflect the inside of the Brady Bunch place, but until that day comes, that'll bring this tour to a close. Thanks for watching today's video, and before you head out, answer me this question. If you could buy the home from your favorite television series of all time, which home would it be? Let me know your favorite TV residence in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss a tour. If you like this one, you can also check out recent house tours and the likes of Nick Carter, Brian Littrell, and more. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!